blog and manage content zone. The next setup that what we are going to see is that are related with the punch out setups. Uh, how we create the catalogs. So if you remember last time that we created requisition through that search catalog, whatever the item that you type, then the item will be listed out in the search box and you just enter the quantity. So all that comes from the setup part and there are set of setups like going to manage catalog, then we go to the content zone and that is how it reflects. Okay, now to do that setups, you need to go to this catalog and if you want to see this uh, particular icon, there is a role called Catalog Administrator. So if you have that role, you can see this uh, setup task. So I'll go to the catalog. So last time, uh, someone was asking how we can set up the punch out. Now, this is the place from where you can do all that punch out related setups. And to do that, we go to the task and we go to manage catalogs. So all the standard or the speed ones that are given in the demo instance by the Oracle. You see this catalog type. This catalog type is different over here. Uh, so some are related with the punch out and some are just for information and some are the local catalog. Whether you want to create a local catalog, whether you want to create a punch out catalog or whether you want to create an informational catalog. So information catalog was something that if you want to redirect users, you can publish some videos and give that informational link over here. That is how you can information catalog. As we know that we go to suppliers website, we purchase everything over there. And the local catalog are the search catalog that the list of items or the agreement items that we were able to see in the list of uh, search things that are the local catalogs. So I cannot set up the punch out catalog separately right now because I don't have any such supplier with me. So what I'll do is I'll just go and review what kind of punch out set setup is like what kind of things are required in doing the punch out catalog setups. So we need the URL and password, user ID password from this particular supplier. So right now they already have some link up with the Amazon. So let's see how that has been set up. Just give the catalog name, that is let's say Amazon, you give the description, then there's the keyword, Hello. just the image URL of the image that you are going to see on the requisition area, you will see this image, Amazon. Now there are different kind of source that how you want to connect with the supplier through CXML punch out, whether you are going to use the CXML supplier punch out or XML supplier punch out or Oracle business network. So what kind of method that we are going to use depending with the supplier, uh, then the punch out definition, uh, we select the supplier which is already there in our master database. The line type I was trying to ask you. Uh, so product type, right? If you use service, what is the per sale basis? What, what is uh, if line type is? Oh, it will be amount. Okay. If you service the quantity. Yeah, right. right. Hourly base. If you wanted to provide a service. No, of course. I mean that's the correct example. So if you want to use that hourly base services, then you will need the quantity. So. In the EBC, if I remember, there was goods and uh, there was no service, right? It was uh, expense or something, right? That uh, two type, two item types, right? Uh, yeah, EBS goods or not? Fixed price service. service was there, I think, in EBS. Yeah, EBS also service. So, and uh, uh, the, the matching will be uh, inherited from the line, right? Uh, the, when, uh, the, yeah, so the, line type is just one way, but the item attributes can override the line type. Okay, item can be all right. Okay. So what are the option we have in invoice image also? Order and receipt. It's the same thing, same concept as EBS. Same concept. There is nothing new in a approval level in invoice image also. It's the same thing. Uh, now regarding the catalog setup. So if you have the catalog administrator rule, then you will see this icon over here. And once we have this list over here, this icon over here, you can go and set up all different kind of catalogs. That there are three different kind of catalogs available, like punch out catalog, local catalog, and informational catalog. And 
The difference is like the local catalog. If you remember last time that in requisition we used to search the items through supplier name or uh, if some items is having an agreement, we used to search that list of items through search search box. So that is something what we set up with the local catalog. Then there is punch out catalog. As we know that we go to another website and we purchase everything from there and again that will be redirected to our basket of fusion and then we submit the requisition. So that is punch out catalog and the informational catalog is something that if you want your users or your requesters to know the process or you want them to have some more information on what kind of requisitions are and how they can create a requisition. So you can create the informational catalog as well. Uh, now to create the punch out catalog, we need actually all the setups or the things from the supplier end. So I'll not be able to create the new one, but let's see what has already been uh, set up by the Oracle itself. So we'll see the Amazon punch out catalog. Uh, so what we can see over here is there are different types of catalogs already there, punch out, informational and local. So we'll see this uh, punch out catalog. If I click on this, so I can enter. First of all, I can select this business unit that this will be pertaining to which business unit. Catalog name, description name, keyword, how this image should look like. So you can also show the image over here. So you can give the image URL where this particular image is stored. Then there are different types of uh, source for the connectivity uh, that whether you are going to use the direct CXML or Oracle Native XML or Oracle Business Network. Based upon that, you need to take the information from the supplier. So in the punch out definition, we select that which is the supplier, then it will be linked with the which supplier site, what is the supplier name, supplier ID, the punch out link. So this is the link on which we will be getting redirected. And then the password, this will be again getting from the supplier. Then all the prices that we are able to see on the websites are negotiated or not. So based upon the contract that we have with the supplier, all the lines, prices that we'll be seeing on the particular website will already be negotiated. Allow price override on the purchase order lines. So whether the price that you are going to see on that website, once we add that item to our basket, whether we can override the price or not. So if you allow this, then you can override the price as well. Again, this part, again, this will be given everything by the supplier as uh, supplier only. The domain, how they will identify that who is the person that is trying to log in to our instance. And the important part over here is that uh, mapping set. So mapping set is required because uh, we have our own master setups like uh, category. Then supplier might have a different category, but the category that is defined in our instance might be different. So we need the mapping of category uh, unit of measure. And if there are any item related uh, setup, then we also need the mappings of items. So this is the mapping set. So there is a separate setup from where we can define this mapping set. So before I go further, let's go to this mapping set first. So if you see this manage supplier content mapping set. So this is the task where I can define the mapping sets. Now over here, I can already see this that there are mapping sets available. If I click on this, so there are only two mapping sets created over here, one with the category and one with the unit of measure. Okay, so to do that, if I click on item over, oh sorry, if I click on edit over here, one file will be downloaded and in that file, I need to install one ADFDI software and based upon that ADFDI, it will show me the list of values. Um, 
just a minute i'm just trying to get that uh, dwbi version which i need to install and then only then i can open up that excel to get that file right now but if you see it will be like the same kind of uh, file will be there where i need to give the mapping set between the categories mm. let me just take up this task in the next session i'll just give you the full fledge information yeah. on this because yeah. it will be in some but i can just complete the another two catalogs in four minutes so let me just go to that so there is another type of catalog that is a local catalog and if you want to set up the local catalog let me just edit this so we just select the procurement business unit we select the we give the catalog name and below that if we see you see this section over here agreement section so in the agreement section you decide that which all item should be specifically available from the agreement so if i say all the items from the agreement should be visible so you select this then include all the master items then in categories uh, you can exclude specific categories or you can include specific categories or you can include all the categories so depending upon the option that you select you will have the options over here that which category should be included now this is something that when we go and click on search items then only items that are related with this categories will be visible okay so that is how something that we define the criteria that what all item should be visible in search catalog once this catalog is defined this us1 business unit maintenance catalog then we go and attach this catalog to the content zone so if i go to content zone go to this repositioning part select the procurement business unit the content zone where i can use this particular catalog in which content zone whether at the requisition level or the purchasing level i can select that over here and below that i can add all this catalog whether it is a punch out or a local so if you see this the maintenance catalog is already attached over here so i can just add that catalog over here similarly i can create my own shopping list and attach the shopping list over here i can create my smart forms and add the smart forms over here and below i can select the security that all this particular things should be visible to which business unit so I, i have secured this by requisitioning business unit then only this particular list of setups will be visible to us1 business unit uh, we'll go through this all things in in detailed uh, in, in detailed manner but as we have a short of time i just went to a bit and so if you are using so, sales sales requisitioning then you don't require this local content or anything right you can self service requisitioning it will this is specifically for self service only so if you see this requisitioning part so what all requisition that we saw different type of requisition punch out we search the requisition from search box all that things need this setup we'll go in more detail um, but as we are just having a short of time i am i'm just going to as an overview we'll go again in detail but this was the place where we define the punch out and local and everything Thank you.